Yo, what's up guys? It's Adeem, aka Sports Court, and welcome back to another video. So, um, I am going to show you guys how to animate a car doing drifts. Um, and also we are going to do the smoke animation. So this is how it's going to look. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably wondering, hmm, how can I do a smoke mental flow? Cause like doing like a smoke mental flow in Blood Blunder is just trash and like it renders a longer time and it's just trash, like literally garbage. But I am going to do three parts for this. Um, one part, which is animation, just doing some drifts. Number two, um, of course, doing some smokes. You know, like do some baking, um, just do some smoke simulation settings and all that. And number three, which is the extra, which is doing the tire marks, which is, you know, like those skid marks and the render settings. And yeah, so, and each of those parts will be 10 minutes long. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right to it. Actually, before we start, I'm just gonna just introduce myself. My name is Nadim. Um, I do CGI automotive animations. Every week I always post animations about cars and I'm um, just making them look realistic. And um, but yeah, let's get started. So here we are at Blender. Let's delete everything by clicking A and X. All right, time to get a car. All right, so the car that I am using for this tutorial is going to be a Corvette C8. This car is one of the most hardest car to drift with because it's just hard. <laughs> Guys, you have to get this rig. This rig is super important when it comes to making car animations because this rig has so much features to this. It has some drifting, um, suspension rig, steering, moving, the body weight, suspension, like everything guys. So I made a tutorial on how to rig a car in under five minutes, but guys, it's literally like under five minutes. So like, it's just basically like doing dishes in five minutes, you know, like it's that simple. Go ahead and make it. And if you guys are done, then just come back to this video. But anyway, let's get started. So yeah, so let's um shift A, select mesh. We'll do a, a, a plane, of course, cause plane is the most basic thing. So. For the texture, um, what you guys have to do is that you guys have to download the Blender Kit add-on. So you go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, and you type Blender Kit. Oh, I put space. But right, so Blender Kit it should be right in that um, add-on list. Just check mark it and save Preferences. All right, now we have that installed. Let's go to this tab bar and click on the Material section and type Path. So Path. And this is a blender kit feature. So like, it's really cool to have this add on. Now we have to, um, so you tap on this plane and you click this uniform sandy ground. Let, let's do that texture. It should be loading there. And let's, and let's do some adjustments with this texture. So you guys can see it's low pixelated. So we have to UV edit that. Let's go to UV. You go to the edit mode. And for this, you press A to control all the spaces and you should get something like this. And now you go to this material section and just play around with the UV. Just make it that is really good, high quality floor. That should be good. All right, nice. Now we have that. Let's start making the curve path. And the curve path is really good for this rig, of course, this rig that I have, and you guys will see why in later. So shift A, um, curve and path, rotate this curve about, um, 90 degrees cause this per, cause this path has to face the same way as a car. They're both facing the same direction. So that's good to know. And um, now we are going to make this curvy. So you go to the edit, you should see five vertices. Let's try to make them as curvy as possible, which is kind of easy. So just start from here. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see. Because we want this car to drift. So, um, all 
All right, so I kind of played around some of it. And that is should how it looks because we want the car to follow the, the path so we can drift this car. All right, now we have that. Let's click the rig. Go to the post mode and um, click on this blue main rig button right here. Not the steering, just the blue one. And you go to the bone properties. You click here and click follow path. Now you see this um, eye tool color. You click that and just tap the path with the eye tool color. So now we have that. That is nice. All right. Now the car, it sits on the path. We don't want that. We want to lay it on the floor. So to do that, we're going to do a fixed position and fixed curve. And it's facing the wrong way. And we don't want that. So we want it to put it at negative Y for the forward axis. There we go. Nice. Now we want to go to the object properties and just play around with the location Z axis. So we want this wheel to touch the floor. Let's see. Uh, there, that's perfect. All right, now the wheels are touching the floor and that's what we, we want. All right, so since we have that, let's animate this car to make it drifty, of course. Um, now we want to click this rig, go to the pose mode, click this, um, this blue one again. Go to the bone properties and you should see the offset factor. What you do is that um, you click this recording button. Now we are going to keyframing this car. So you go to the offset factor again. You click insert keyframe. It should be at, at one. And then we want to put the last keyframe at 50. And what that one does is that when you move this, the car moves along with the path and that's what we want. And that's why that this rig is so important when it comes to making animations. But anyway, let's put it at the max. All right, after we offset factor 1000, let's stop the recording button and let's test the car speed. It should be faster. Um, all right, one adjustment is that we can um, right click between these two keyframe you go to interpolation mode and click linear so now it should be like this but the problem is that the car moves slow we don't want that we want it to move a quick so to do that there's two options you can make the path a bit longer or you can adjust the keyframe now before i start doing all this um let's go to the because we wanted it to be a smooth frame set but not choppy frames now it should be a little bit more faster yep it's a little bit more but let's do a little bit more quicker so so select this last keyframe and put it at frame um we'll do 130 and we have to make this path a bit longer and either to make it quicker so let's click the path edit mode and let's just extrude it one more time but click the starting one and just go back like this I want to fix these a bit, just make them look nice. Do this one last vertices, just, just extrude it. There we go. And now it should be quicker. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's way much better. All right, nice. So um, the car animation, it ended at 130, so let's Fix the end frame, so put this at 130. There we go. Now the car is just turning, it's not drifting. So, what we should do is that we should go back to um, frame one and you go to the edit mode. I mean, not no, no, you go to the pose mode. I meant, and after that, you select this drift rig, and that's how it drifts. So, um, yeah. All right, so I set this recording set. Let's do, um, let's see. So we want the drift to start at, let's see, uh, right here. Or, okay, at frame 35. We want to hit I and go to rotation. Go to a few frames, like frame 50. And that's the part where it should drift a bit. So like this. There we go. 
nice. Let's see how it should look like. Now the car is drifting. And that looks nice. Boom. And boom. Now if it swings too fast, you can bring this last frame down to 30. So it gets a really good smooth swing. Alright. And the drift, it should stop at right here. So we have to um, hit R like this. And oops, my bad. All right. Now you go to few frames and this is where it should come back to normal. So like this, or we could just hit Alt R and it will automatically um, be at the default rig or yeah. All right, so that's how it should look like. Let's see one, one more time. Swings and it stops right here. So that's perfect start. All right, go back to the object mode. But guys, make sure to save this project because <laughs> I almost forgot to save it. All right, let's just move the plane a bit more to the center of the curve. So that's how it should look like. Now let's do one last thing before this part one ends and that is the camera setup. So let's just um, go to the camera. You go to the view camera to view and now you could just um, start placing the camera I mean we want the camera to be still so let's do somewhere about like just place the camera somewhere that it shows a good drifting view like maybe maybe like this let's see how this looks no we want it a bit more like that all right, and that is it for part one. Part two, we will be covering the smoke. And um, I am going to up upload it tomorrow, hopefully, after school. And um, yeah, and part three will be the skid marks and the render. And you guys will be all done in, in part three, hopefully. So um, I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for the next part.